Okay, it is race day. I am really excited about this. Should be a lot of fun. Here are the contenders. Should be 36 in all. Some you've seen, some you haven't seen in my previous reviews. If you haven't seen them, they're coming. Uh, so if you see one you like that I haven't done yet, uh, well, it's on its way. How this is going to work is pretty straightforward, pun intended, because what we're going to do is we're going to accelerate them up to full speed uh, later on in the track, but the race starts here and goes for the straight stretch a bit down to the uh, rear railer here. That way there's no discrepancy in the acceleration, it's all straight up speed. I'm also going to point out that the track length is exactly 53 and a half inches, so we should be able to determine the scale speed as well. Alright, so place your bets now. In fact, what would be fun is put in the comments which one you think is going to win, and then after you watch the video, see if you were right. Now here's how the speed gauge is going to work. We're going to accelerate them all up to this point here, right between the red and the black. That way it's all standard and set and even, and by the time it gets to that starting point, they'll all already be at that speed. And uh, we'll find out who the winners are as well as, well, the losers. If I had to guess, again, I haven't done this yet, I have no idea. But if I had to guess, I think we're all going to be surprised, and the winner's going to be this little guy down here. Because if you saw my Back to the Future one, this, this thing's a force to reckon with from a speed perspective. Um, but who knows, there could be some upsets. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. But it should be pretty fun. So we'll go ahead and get started here and run them all together. Well, there you have it. Did yours win? <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to tell. I wanted to do them all on one screen, but uh, I ended up splitting them up between the categories there. I uh, thought it would make it interesting. And uh, what we'll do now is look at the worst three of each category and then do the best three, and then obviously overall, uh, there's an overall winner. So here are the worst three steam engines. Not too much of a surprise to myself. The, uh, the top one there being that little Arnold. It did a whopping 17.17 seconds, which at scale speed, that's equivalent of 28.3 miles per hour. It's super, super sad <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, number two there didn't do much better, 10.7 seconds, equivalent of 45 miles per hour. And then the Bachmann Green steam engine did, did better than the other two for sure at uh, 67.2 miles per hour equivalent or 7.23 seconds, but still, you know, top three worst steam ones overall. For the diesel losers, a little bit of surprise, the back half of the New Haven set that I have, where both the front and the second car are powered, the back half did it in 8.4 seconds, or just under 60 miles per hour equivalent. Whereas the front half of the engine did it in 5.3 seconds, or 91.8 miles per hour. So I don't know what to think of that. Why is the back half so much worse? <laughs> but uh, that's what it is. That little red switcher did 7.13 seconds, or 68.2 miles per hour equivalent. Better than that green Bachmann before. And then that funky German people mover thing did it in 6.7 seconds or 72 miles per hour equivalent. 
All right, for the electric type, I don't have too many of these. So you might see a surprise here of what's considered, quote unquote, the bottom three. Worst overall is that Red Arnold in the middle. It did it in 7.9 seconds. A little over 61 miles per hour equivalent. Second worst is that uh, little red one there next to it. 5.17 seconds or 94.1 miles per hour. And as I said, don't have too many of these, but the, the third worst, quote unquote, is uh, that blue guy there at 3 seconds, 0. 0.47, or 140 miles per hour. So with that, drum roll please as we announce the winner categories. Alright, we'll start with the top steam ones again. Not too much of a surprise to me, and we'll go uh, worst to first here. Third place is that red and black Fleischmann 3.57 seconds or 136 miles per hour equivalent. Glad to see this one make the top three. I think it's one of my favorite engines for sure. I think it is it even the highest rated engine I've done a review on. So, you know, no surprise there. Second place probably isn't a surprise either to most people. It's the UP844 there. 3.2 seconds or 152 miles per hour. But top steam overall, I called it. That little, that little old school mogul, I think, there. 2.67 seconds, or 182 miles per hour. Now, if you recall, I did a good Back to the Future review of this one, and in Back to the Future, of course, you only need to get to 88. This thing goes 182 miles an hour, so well, well within its capability. Okay, moving on, here are your diesel winners. Third place goes to that Cato Rio Grande there at 3.83 seconds, or 126.9 miles per hour. Second best, this is kind of a shocker to me, it's that old 1985 switcher. 3.67 seconds, or 132 miles an hour. But best overall here is that Cato BNSF. And even 2.7 seconds, clocked in at just a tick over 180 miles an hour. Alright, top three electric. I told you I didn't have too many of these, because if you notice, the third from the top is also the third from the bottom. 140 miles an hour for that blue guy there on the right. Second best is the Blue Thunder out of Japan, 3.33 seconds, 145.9 miles an hour. But the best overall here, and honestly I didn't see it coming even though I should have, it's that Kato Bullet Train. It did it! in an astonishing 1.83 seconds, or 265.3 miles an hour. Alright, now for those of you keeping score at home, here are our top three overall. And I think it's kind of ironic how one of each type of engine <laughs> made it to the top three. Uh, however, of course, at the end of the day, it's meaningless because they're all electric. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of split them up into their own categories. Again, I didn't see the bullet train coming. That kind of came out of nowhere for me, especially how dominant it was against everything else. 265 miles an hour. Uh, the next one down is that little little mogul there at only 182. Just pure, pure dominance. I mean, I knew it was fast, but I didn't think it was that fast. But uh, we should have all seen this one coming. Here's the scores overall, so you can take a peek, see what they did, see how they stack up against the rest. You'll see it's a good mix of types. Some couple things I noticed there. Of the six Fleischmann steam engines I have, four of them are all bunched in the middle there within 10 miles an hour of each other. Thought that was kind of, I guess, a testament to their engines, since they're pretty equivalent across the board. Biggest surprise for me would have been that 1985 switcher being so fast, and of course the bullet train and its complete dominance of the others. I, I really did not see that coming at all. As I said before, that New Haven front and back were so different. I thought that was kind of interesting. It's also a good mix between old engines from the 90s on back through modern day engines that were made like last week. Of course, the older ones trend lower on the scale, I guess. But overall, I enjoyed doing this little race. It was fun. There were some surprises along the way. And, well, some not so surprises. But that kind of wraps up this one. If you have any other ideas, I'd love to hear what uh, the other challenges I could do. I'm thinking possibly a full circuit race going around my layout. We'll see if that happens. But if you have any other ideas what I could do, let me know.
And, of course, plenty more reviews to come, as you saw some of the engines I haven't done yet, so they're on their way. But that's it for this one. Stay tuned for more.